Hi everyone, I'm Matrix Master Trainer Amanda Brush, and today I'm going to take you through a mobility sequence. So, as an elite athlete and a trainer and a coach and a master instructor, I recognize the importance of stretching and flexibility and that we don't often do it as often as we should. So what I want to do today is take you through a sequence that you can do at home that's going to help loosen up your upper back and your hips and get you feeling just maybe a little stretched and ready to go throughout the rest of your day or settle in for your evening. So to start, we're gonna start on our hands and knees. And as you go through this at home, what I want you to do is stop in each position and hold for five breaths. So what we're gonna start with is inhaling and bringing our spine up, tucking our chin to chest, and then exhaling through. You're gonna keep moving with this. And not hold in this position. After you've done a couple of these, let's say five, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit back into child's pose. You're gonna widen your knees a little bit and bring those hands forward and hold here for five breaths. And then you're gonna come out of child's pose into a plank position. And you're gonna inhale and press back into downward dog holding that pose for five breaths. Coming forward to plank, you're gonna bring that right leg up by your right hand. Drop that back knee down. You're gonna hold here, five breaths, and then you're gonna twist through, reaching that arm up, and then pressing that arm down. Curl that back toe under, lift that knee up, step back into plank position, press back into downward dog, stretch and come forward, and as you do, bring that left leg up. Drop that back knee down. Hold here, five breaths, and then reach that arm up, twisting towards your left knee, holding for five breaths, come back down. Go ahead, curl that back toe under and lift that knee up off the ground, coming forward. Drop down, hands and knees. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulder. You're gonna inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, and then exhale, come through and press down, holding here. Pressing the shoulder that's on the ground into the ground by pressing away with your other hand. And then you're gonna come back up and do the opposite on the other side. So reach up and then come through, holding, pressing into the ground with the shoulder that's on the ground and away with the hand that's on the ground. And then coming up here, widen those knees, press back into child's pose. and then come forward, tuck those toes under, press back into downward facing dog. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna lift your right leg up and bend open a little bit and come back down. And then repeat that again, bend, open those hips and come back down. And then to the other side, right? So we're lifting that left leg up, twist a little bit, and then come back down, and then right here, twist, and then come back down. Then you're gonna hold each one of those for five breaths. Sit back down, child's pose. And then come forward, and you're gonna walk those legs through, come to seated. You're going to extend your left leg out, cross your right leg over and twist, breathing here, staying on the same side when you untwist. 
you're gonna cross that leg into making a number four, and then you're gonna bring that knee up, pressing the knee away from the body, holding here for five breaths, and then you're gonna lay back and pull that knee in towards your chest, holding for five breaths here. Roll yourself up, extend the right leg out, and repeat on the other side. You're gonna bring that leg across your body and twist. Every time you inhale and exhale. And then you're gonna cross that leg over. Again, making a four, and then bring that knee in towards your chest, holding here. And then lie back, intensifying the stretch a little bit more. Pull that knee in towards your chest. And then roll yourself up. Sitting here, you're gonna bring the bottoms of your feet together. And you're gonna hold here. Pressing down with your elbows against your knees. And then bringing your feet together. This is the last one. If this is here for you today, I want you to try this out. You're gonna come up, push yourself up right into this low squat position. You might have to settle in a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press out against those knees with your triceps and your elbows, bringing those hands in front and work on shifting a little bit, moving, settling deep down into those hips. And then when you're ready, just bring those hands behind you, sit back down, and then I encourage you to lay back and do some resting and relaxation for about five minutes to end all of this. One of my favorite ways to end after a stretch that works my hips a lot is to actually lay down with my feet together and allow gravity to draw my knees down as I'm resting. You can repeat all these moves through holding for five breaths during each one. And then the next time as you go through the sequence, you could try four breaths, three breaths, two, and then maybe repeat it through a couple times, only holding each pose for one breath. So it has a little more movement to it. But again, when we're stretching and working on flexibility and mobility, take it as your body allows. Some places you may wanna hold for a little bit longer, especially if the stretch feels good. And other places you might wanna move through a little bit faster or you might not need that stretch and that's okay. That's one of the best parts about stretching is it all depends on how your body's feeling and how you wanna move. Enjoy your time of mobility and relaxation.